Hey guys, these are apparently the funniest drunk people you're ever going to see ever. Let's see about that. Let's see what we got. Well, this guy looks like he's had a big night. <laughs> it looks like he hasn't even made it to uh, the Maccas for the Egg McMuffin. Poor guy, I know how that feels. Not even able to go to a McDonald's after a bender. Where, where'd he go? Is he behind that? There he is. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Poor guy probably misjudged his house by one or two houses, maybe even a whole block, and thought that bush was his front door. I've walked into a bush before when I've been intoxicated. I think we all have. Let us know your stories. That is great. Ah. Now he's just going to sit down and reflect on the stupid move that he just made. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. One must learn to crawl before they walk. There you go. He's going back to being nine months old again. That's fantastic. I didn't even know he hit his head. Or maybe that's just the hangover. Or off you go, mate. Power to you. I hope you find that feed. Wait, wait a minute, you were going the other direction before. You just walked in. <laughs> he looked like he was a man on a mission, stumbling around everywhere. He still looked like he had somewhere to go. And he was walking the opposite direction, and then all of a sudden, because he accidentally walked into the bush, all of a sudden he's like, oh, that's a bad idea, I'm just going to go back the other way now. That journey just looks like the whole purpose was defeated there. <laughs> Oh, this guy. I mean, is he drunk or is he just sleepy? We don't know. The dog's coming out. What's the dog gonna do? Lick his balls? Oh, that's a well-trained dog. They're bringing his boots out. Unless... Wait, you should, you're supposed to give him uh, the boots, Fido. I don't know if he's... <laughs> yeah, that guy is definitely drunk. Wanna know why? The guy just went face first into concrete and gave himself a concussion. And he didn't wait. Is he might be dead. He might have hit himself so hard he might actually be dead. I hope the guy's okay. Does anyone know this fella? <laughs> he definitely have a concussion at least, and he didn't even wake up. Even the dogs are worried. Oh, not anymore. I think they could sense that he was breathing. Oh, dude, I used to love doing this as a two, three-year-old. I nearly fell off a building once actually doing that as a two, three-year-old on a veranda story for another time. How did he do that? I mean, obviously there might be some kind of optical illusion here. Obviously camera angles and things like that and distances and whatnot. But this guy looks a little bit more on the tubby side, God bless him. And somehow he managed to get through the gate. And it does look, it looks like a toddler could barely get through there. Hey, that's impressive. This guy should do magic in uh, Vegas. But this is, there you go. I mean, he's like a toddler again. He's using, like, the railing for support while he learns to walk again. Hello, mate. This poor guy doesn't know where he is. How are ya? <laughs> Hello, mate. Not good? Too much drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Too much drinking, eh? Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy is like a one you and a half year old in it. Stay, stay. Yo! Stay, stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Look at this guy. He can barely walk, and yet he can climb like a professional rock climber. And that is a lot of freaking body weight too, may I add. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Ed. Yeah, this this Ed. whole video is very impressive. I'm thoroughly entertained. I'm going to go out and say this is the best video I have reviewed so far. What can I, what can I say, everyone? Drunk out, people make me smile. What's this lady? Is this his wife? Oh, wait, it's a guy. <laughs> I guess you shouldn't assume in 2024. Stay there, mate. You'll be alright. Oh, it's a kid. Poor guy. I'm glad they've got his face blurred out. I mean, you drink he's a probably lot? more embarrassed than anybody. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drink a lot, my kid. Alright, mate. We'll see you later. See ya. They waved by. Look at him, he's still going. And now, and now he's just going... Alright. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, this guy, he's, had, he's been at a barbecue or a picnic or something. Look, he's crawling around, learning how to walk again. I wonder if that's his girlfriend or his crush. Either way, you're, you, you've either blown it or you're in big trouble when you get home. Yeah, I, I just love it. it. It's just so fascinating watching drunk people try to get around. It, it's it, As I said, I've said it a few times in this stream already, but it's just like watching a baby trying to take their first steps. And it's equally as funny as it is adorable in a very weird way. <laughs> That's okay, little Billy. You'll get it next time. Oh. Well, I mean, he just took a... a he just took a traditional wrestling bump there. Off you go. Come on, little Billy. First steps. Mummy and Daddy are watching. Oh, it's all right, Billy. Hey, if, if you can get up and walk, Billy, we'll give you that Fisher Price toy that you were looking at at Kmart. He's like, Billy's like, I got it, Mummy. I got it. <laughs> oh. I mean, I think we've all uh, had this situation, right, where we've had so many drinks, we're at least still at the point where we can sit upright, and then while we're in our own little dome here, you know, we keep our head towards the ground, we start reflecting at life. And at this point, uh, the concept of time is very, very skewed. You think you've lost two hours and it's only been like five minutes. Let's continue. This guy. Oh, he's, he's touching his brow. He might be contemplating the actions from the night before. No, he's not contemplating anything. He's having a nap. So, I want you guys to be honest. How many of you guys have slept in a garden after a bender? Last time I did it was in 2019, and it was my official DJ retirement party. I actually retired after 15 years of DJing. I came back for a little while afterwards, but I digress. But I had my party... Uh, I ended up being with a whole bunch of people and somehow a few hours later I was by myself in a taxi trying not to throw up and as soon as I got out of the taxi I tripped over into the bush in my front complex didn't even make it inside and I literally slept in that bush for three hours before I uh, walked into my apartment now might not sound like a big deal to you but I live in Australia and I could have probably been bitten in the face by a red belly black snake I'm glad that did not happen they're very venomous <laughs> Oh, there we go. We've got a little beach. I love these vibes. I love having, like, coffee on the beach or a cocktail on the beach and lunch. This looks like a nice spot. This guy looks like he's just had a beer with Jaws. You probably shouldn't be swimming in that state, bro. <laughs> I don't know what he just picked up. I don't know what he's... I don't even think he knows what he's doing either. And look at this guy in the black. This guy in the black is singing, oh, I don't get paid enough for this shit. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. You probably don't, buddy. I hope you find something better. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's doing. Is that even his... Oh, no. This chick, dude, is there with her husband and wife? You know what? Fair play to them. They were really, really cool about it. They knew that nobody was home. Yeah, some people probably wouldn't have handled it as politely. Look at this guy. Alright, he's coming out for a swim too. <laughs> oh, maybe he's not coming out for a swim. I think he's going to have to stay in that water for a couple hours. Oh, great. We're on to the drunk chicks. Oh, I, I just love watching chicks fall over. It makes me laugh. And, and, you know, even when they're wearing heels that they can't walk in, it's funny enough. But it just adds that little cherry on top when they're drunk as well. <laughs> yes, this is what I looked like when I was sleeping in the garden. I don't know if that, they're both drunk, but one's worse than the other. Well, one of these guys had 20 beers, the other guy had 22 beers. No, maybe they both had the same, come to think of it. I'd like 2020. <laughs> Then this reminds me of the scene in Rocky 2 when Apollo and Rocky knock each other out at the same time at the end and they're trying to climb to get up at the end and Rocky gets up before Apollo and becomes a champion of the world and 
There's no belts here though, this is just pure survival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, Yo, Adrian, I did it! He did it! He actually really did do it! Yeah, Apollo's still down, and, and now he's gonna uh, teach Rocky the eye of the tiger on next week's bender. You fucked your boot, I don't Until next week. Until next week, Rocco! Man, what a great friend! Try trying to pick up his up. What a great friend! I just, what a great friend! Now this is friendship right here. This is the kind of guy that if you guys both got arrested, he'd be sitting in the jail cell next to you. Like I think I fucked up that phrase, but you get where I'm going. Oh, okay. This this looks like the city. Yeah. What the? Wait. So this is either this is probably late afternoon going by the, the sun. Oh, this is awesome right here. I'm getting every single second of it. Could be the early morning, and he could be gone from the night before. Looks like the sun the is either about to go down or it's come up. I, I don't know. He's the one. I want to know what this guy's been doing. Maybe some kind of Sunday party. It's definitely not a work day. <laughs> if this guy's been drinking like that in a work day, go get yourself a job, you bum. What's up, buddy? Uh, for a second, I thought that guy was pissing in public. I don't know why. It's just the lighting, maybe. Come on, check. Jeff. Jeff. Well, this guy's ahead. probably just drowning his sorrows because no. he's got a sore arm. I can, I can understand that. But you're going to re-break and re-fracture that and do. There you go. That, that, that's another uh, three months in a sling, you idiot. <laughs> he's probably not feeling any pain now. You're going to feel it tomorrow. Get him Man, I'll tell you what. I have to say, most of the people in this video have actually been really, really nice and helpful. Uh, I don't know if it's out of pity or just out of kindness, but either way, in Brisbane, everyone would have just left their fucker on the street. I'm serious. Man, these, these guys are really nice. Yeah, you see the guy in the blue, he's kind of rolling his eyes. He's yeah. like, oh, here we go. They probably have to do this a lot. <laughs> Dude, he's trying to walk the wrong way on an escalator. I mean, I've done that before, but it was on purpose. This guy... Dude, this guy's... Oh, that's so dangerous. Escalators are really dangerous, aren't they? Even when you're sober. Like, damn. And especially after watching that Final Destination movie, I can never look at them the same again. The guy doesn't know where he's going. Look, you know, sometimes you just have to cut the rope. Hey, you can't help people that don't want to help themselves. I hope he doesn't fall down. I'm really worried about this guy's safety. Uh, yeah, this, this chicken, I mean, I don't want him to slice his head open like that. You could conceivably die doing this. But thankfully, he can't walk at the same speed as a machine. I can't go on that. Yeah, she's just like, cut the rope. And you're within your right to do that, I mean, you try. Yeah, this is the biggest moron out of all. How does he not... Press the stop button. This might not just be alcohol. This is probably like something harder than that as well. I, I really hope he doesn't pull it in his head. Just Even if he it. does deserve to, that's not the point. There we go. We got him off, and that is it apparently. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching The Drunks. Which one was your favourite? Be honest, which one of those situations you've been in? And uh, we'll see you on the next video.